Michael Frankel, CageMinds.com. Under two weeks away, King of the Cage, Cutting Edge, on the pro side of the card. Joining me at this time, Charlie Williams of Fit and HB. Charlie, how you doing? Man, I'm doing good, man. Just, uh, you know, I'm feeling ready to fight already. It's been over six months. How anxious are you to step back in the cage? Man, I, I, uh, oh, man, I, I feel real anxious, you know, um, the setback, uh, the six month setback is still nice, you know, I, uh, over the holidays, I ended up gaining some weight, you know, and, and, you know, it took, it took a while for me to get the weight off, but, you know, I'm, the weight's off now, and I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll. So, how much of this last few months has been... Really just trying to get that diet stabilized and getting the cardio workout together versus uh, working on getting better. Where have you been at in the six months? In the six months, I, I, uh, man, I, I've been in the gym every day, you know, um, but it, it was just that the dieting was a thing that was out of control. I was, you know, <laughs> I was eating, you know, fast food and stuff, and that's, you know, it just it really hurt my diet, you know, and I, I was walking around, uh, I think I was close to like 170 at one point, you know, and and then uh, you know, uh, but yeah, it's uh, I got everything under control. Uh, the cardio, you know, I I run pretty much every day with my dog, so the cardio thing wasn't an issue, or anything, you know. But it's just mainly my diet. Competitively speaking, then for you, the goal is still 135 pounds. Yeah, 135. That's it. Just talking about walking around at 170. Where are you trying to get to the point where you're maintaining at? What's your ideal then walk around weight? My ideal walk around weight is, you know, uh, around 155 or 150 is a good walk around weight for 135, I believe. You know, um, when I was fighting at 45, so I was walking around at 165, you know. So I'm trying to get to where I'm walking around at 155. And now, over these last couple months, getting everything under control, what's been the key? What what's what have you found to eat that you can still enjoy? Um, you know, I, I, I still can enjoy a lot of things that I, you know, that I like to indulge myself in, like hamburgers, you know, but I, I, uh, I switched to vegan hamburgers, you know, and that, that's, I found out that vegan hamburgers are to taste even better than regular hamburgers, you know, so that, that's the thing I mainly, you know, um, what I want, you know, so, yeah. So the veggie burgers, is that is that like a veggie patty type thing, or are you going with a soy type meat, or what are you looking at? Oh, I like soy. And that's still oh, close okay. enough to kill the craving, it's good enough as a burger? Oh, yeah, it's just, it, man, it, it, to me, it, it tastes even better, you know, it's packed with, like, lots, lots of flavors, you know, so I really enjoy them, you know, and uh, it was actually my wife that found the recipe for it, you know, and now we, we have them a few times, and, like, I'm really hooked on them, you know. Two weeks away right now, not a, not a set opponent yet, but I'm sure you're going to be hard. So, what does that do for you in training, just to focus on overall growth and keeping your uh, your technique and your basics complete? Well, the, um, going into this fight uh, without a set opponent, you know, I'm just you know I'm just keeping focus on what I do. You know, I uh, I have a pretty good team at Fit, and we you know we all work together real well and. I, uh, I'm, you know, I'm just trying to keep focused on what I do best, you know, and going into this fight, I'm pretty sure everything that I do good will come into play during the night, you know. The last two wins, your hands have been shown off as wrecking balls, putting fools down. What do you credit to those knockouts? Man, I, I credit Arlene. Uh, she, I've been going to her boxing classes uh, every, you know, um, Mondays and Wednesdays, and I, I really credit her. She, uh, she, she, she's the best. She's the best, and she's getting my hands nice and tight, you know. And I, uh, I like, I like, uh, I really enjoyed during her boxing class. I learned so much from her. So since that last win, what were the other areas in your game that you really felt still needed to be tightened up to round out your game? 
Um, I, I need to find out my takedown defense. I, uh, I, I tend to, you know, I, I tend to get taken down a lot during my fights, and even though I end up on top, it's still, I'm still getting taken down, and that, that's what I need to tighten up. So really getting in on that wrestling? Yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the, I think that's the key for me to being a round, rounded fighter is, you know, getting that wrestling down. Come out in this fight on the 25th. What are you coming out to do? I'm coming out to be, I want to, you know, I want to beat somebody up and, you know, wherever the fight goes, uh, you know, everybody that's seen me fight, uh, know, um, they, they know what I'm about, you know, and I'm, I'm about to throw some hands and, you know, do whatever it takes to get a W. Since going from the amateurs, which you had an extensive amateur career up now to this pros, does the lead up to the fight, did fight night, does that stuff feel different leading into the cage, or you've done it for so long, it's just a continuation, there's a couple more minutes in the rounds? Man, it's, uh, it, it's, the five minutes, it, it's a, it's a big difference, it, it's a big difference, and, uh, I, uh, you know, anything can happen in that five minutes, and I, I believe, uh, with me, I, I can show a lot more in five minutes than I could with three minutes, you know, and, uh, a, a lot of my fights, uh, as an amateur, I could have ended a lot of them if I had a few more seconds on them, you know, but, uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a lot different than being an amateur. You know, cardio wise, you know, you got to prepare for five minute rounds. You know, it's a fifteen minute fight now. Five minutes. And then now, how much more uh, is there a gratification now that you're a professional and it's a a paying hobby instead of just getting your pun face punch for free? Yeah, man, it, it kind of it kind of feels good to be uh, recognized as a, as a professional now. You know, a lot of my friends are kind of laughing at me, like that I go get deal or you know for free and I have to pay the because as an amateur, you know, you really you're really paying to fight, you know, and and a lot of my friends were you know making fun of me that it was you know, that I wasn't really going to go anywhere with it, but now now that I'm a pro, you know, there's only one way to go, and it's up. And that's, it. Well, that's where I'm going to be going. Going up and wanting that momentum to continue. What are your hopes for this year? It's April and you're getting your first fight of the year. And what's the hopes? Um, I, I want to, you know, I want to get this fight out of the way. Um, definitely, I'm focusing on this fight, you know, for sure. But uh, whatever uh, Tom, JJ, and Arlene have planned for me, you know, I'm, you know, I'm all game for whatever comes next. You know, possibly three more fights, you know, but, but, you know, whatever happens, happens. What's the message for the fans? Why do they need to come out to King of the Cage, Cutting Edge? Man, King of the Cage, Cutting Edge is going to be an uh, entertaining event for the the, the that have seen the NHB in action. You know, we got a lot of my teammates on there, and uh, Tim Sosa, I, I believe he's the co-main, you know, that this guy... He fights, you know, fight, you know, and it, it's going to be an entertaining card. And then who did, you, it. who did you need to shout out to and thank? I, I want to thank my, my coaches, uh, Tom, Arlene, and AJ, and my, uh, you know, my family, the, the Wild Bunch. You know, I can't, can't do it without them. And then my wife, of course, you know, she, she's the one behind the scenes during my dieting. You know, she uh, prepares my meals for me and everything. So, you know, I'll... I'll Oh my God, with the other. April 25th, Cascada Hotel, King of the Cage, Cutting Edge. Thank you for the time, Charlie, and we'll see you tonight. All right, thank you.